uh, wokeism. It's horrible. I mean, I, it, it's borderline mental issues, I guess I, I would say. This is an ideology that I call the woke army. It is an ideology of activists who are going through America's school districts and our communities, and what they are doing is a threat to democracy. So yes, we fight the woke in the legislature, but we also fight the woke in the schools. We fight the woke in the bureaucracy, and we fight the woke in corporate America. Our bottom line is we do not surrender to the woke mob. Florida's where woke goes to die. Does defense getting more than $800 billion, are there areas that I think they could be more efficient in? Yeah, eliminate all the money spent on wokeism. And if you don't know what you are and you can't see what's going on right now in front of our eyes, it's uh, something's definitely wrong with, with those individuals. I remember when the term woke just simply meant being a little aware of your surroundings, being aware maybe of history and understanding Maybe how society and politics and the government works around you, understanding how uh, the corporate influence impacts the political process, things along those lines, or maybe even self-awareness. But nowadays, when Republicans say woke, it basically just means anything that isn't Republican, anything that isn't MAGA or Ron DeSantis or part of the GOP, as we just saw with this guy who literally didn't know what to say. You know, I mean, if you don't know who you are, if you can't see what's going on around you. What's going on around us? I mean, there's plenty of stuff happening, but what does it have to do with woke? What does our economic issues, our education issues, our healthcare system issues, even our southern border issues, what does any of that have to do with quote unquote being woke? To me, woke is going out of your way to please everybody around you um, and to accept any ideology that they feel is comfortable for them. And so I don't think that that's how we're supposed to live our lives. I think you should let people do what they want to do, but I shouldn't be forced to, to have to accept those things and we should all be able to just live how we want to live. That's what I feel woke is. No, that's just called being a pushover and not having boundaries. That has absolutely nothing to do with being woke. You know, When you don't have boundaries, you typically say yes when you want to say no. You end up getting used by people because they feel like you won't tell them no or you know, maybe you allow people to come in and out of your life however they please. You know, you find yourself doing things that you really don't need to do. That's just being a pushover. That has nothing to do with being woke. And again, I definitely agree. You shouldn't be a pushover. You absolutely should stand up for yourself. But what is being aware of the truth or history or, again, how the system around us works? How is that a bad thing? How can that possibly be a bad thing? Because these people, the same ones who call everybody else woke, they feel as if they're on to something and they see something no one else does. They feel like they understand how the system works. So wouldn't that make them woke? Well, I, I guess not. Woke is uh, accepting everything that is evil. Uh, so for instance, monster cans, each line represents a six. So you got six, six, six. And then if you look on the monster can itself, uh, in the O of the monster, it has a cross and it's got, uh, uh, it set, represents the Antichrist. So when you drink it, you've got the cross coming down. And that's... Uh, so that's wokeism yes, sort of in a yes, nutshell. Yes, in, in a nutshell. It's accepting everything that's evil as good. Bro, this dude is a grown-ass man talking about 666 and Monster Can conspiracies and the Antichrist. Like, well, and, you know, that there's the three lines and that stands for 666. And when you drink it, you're... You're, you're putting it upside down, you know, like the upside down cross. It's like a middle finger to the Holy Trinity. And you're making way for the Antichrist to be born through some, you know, it's like they think that like the Antichrist is going to be born from some brown immigrant who, you know, runs across the border. Yeah, I, I don't know what the hell it is that they think. But again, everything that is left wing in the slightest is woke to them. But I thought that this was an absolutely hilarious look at quote unquote wokeness.